Amen. When we was there and we thank God. Amen. Amen. You know, God has just been sending people by and amen. And we just thank God. Amen. Yeah, thank for what he has done and what he's doing and what we trust him to do. Amen. I thank God for the testimonies, the praise reports. Yeah. Uh, we thank God for what our ears have heard and our hearts have felt today. Yeah. Amen. We thank God for Brother Charles and Amen. Working, amen, in the church during the week. Amen. It's just a blessing. Amen. amen. So we just thank God. Brother Willie, good to see you. Amen. amen. Praise amen. God. Brother Alex, back, and his son. And we just thank God for the visitors that's here. Yeah. Amen. In Jesus' name. Come on, let's get a Lord hand praise. Yeah. Amen. There's a whole lot of other places that you could have been today, but we thank God that you listened to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And your feet brought you here. Yeah. Amen. You came here on your own accord. Amen. Nobody, amen, made you come here, but your, amen, your spirit was to come here today. Yeah. And we thank God for you. Amen. I just feel like, amen, the old songs in the church today. Yeah. Amen. Those songs that minister to you. Come on, Pastor. Amen. When we was coming up in the church. Yeah. Amen. We, we, amen. We felt something in our hearts when the song, amen, was sang. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And nowadays, amen, you got to watch because you don't know, amen, what kind of soul going to come out of it. Amen. Whether it's going to minister to your spirit, man, or to your flesh. Uh -huh. Amen. But we just thank God. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Anybody excited about Jesus? Yes. Amen. I know y'all been saved a long time, but are you still in love with him? Yes. Amen. Did anybody in here love God? Yes. Amen. Say, I love God. I love God. Say, you don't love God? No, love What's God. wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I'd just throw that in. Woo. I just like that little part of that song. Amen. But we're going to sing a little bit and we're going to go on into the work of God. Before I take it back and more to it God has really been good to me Y'all catch that first part? Before I take it back and more to it God has really been good to me. Let me sing a verse. Mm -hmm. This is my testimony. God has been good to me. Yeah. He leads and he guides me. Yeah. He's with me everywhere. Uh -huh. You can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him before I take it back and go to it. God has really been good to me. Before I take it back and go to it. God has really been Amen. I remember what Father Hayes used to sing that song. Amen. Long time ago. Before I take it back, I add more to it. Because God has really been good to me. Amen. You ought to have a testimony. If you've been walking with Jesus any length of time, you ought to have a testimony about what God has done for you. Amen. And what God has done to you. Amen. How he saved you and changed you. and Amen. Brought you out and protected you. And he shielded you. Amen. I love God because in spite, in spite of and because of. Amen. God loves me. Amen. It's good to know that somebody loves you. Amen. In spite of yourself. You ain't sanctified all the time. Amen. You're not walking in the anointing all the time. Amen. You're not shouting glory all the time. Amen. When somebody get on your nerves, you're going to let them know every now and then. Come on now. You're telling the truth. 
Amen. So we thank God. We just keep it real around here. Amen. God is good. We're going to the book of 2 Corinthians. We're going to the fourth chapter and the seventh verse. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, and the seventh verse. And if y'all can read, I mean, stand, and we read this, <laughs> and we all stand and read this one verse. You don't have to worry about being tired, stand it up. Because I'm going to, we're going to read one verse together. And then uh, we're going to take our thought. From there, then you can have your seats. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Y'all got it? Yeah. Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, and the seventh verse. Amen. Let's read. But we have this treasure in urban vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. You, have you have a treasure, a treasure. Inside. inside. Amen. Amen. Maybe seen it. We, we got to know that we have this treasure on the inside of us. Amen. Amen. We have something that the world can't give us. And the world okay, take it away. can't take it away. Amen. Amen. Somebody wrote a song and said, This peace that I have. Yeah. And the world can give it to me. Yeah. And the world can take it away. Oh, glory to God. Yeah. But before we go there, this was the apostle writing to the people at Corinth mm -hmm. for the second time. Teach now. Amen. We're going to bag it up. Amen. To the third verse. Uh -huh. Amen. It says, but if our gospel be hid, hmm. it is hid to them that are lost. Some people don't want to accept this gospel uh, for what it is. And we know that this gospel that we are preaching is good news. Amen. We hear a lot of bad news nowadays, but this gospel is still good news. Because it talks about Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, the Holy Ghost spoke for him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The spirit of truth. Yeah. So this gospel is about Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God wants to show his glory through his son. Yeah. We were talking about that this morning. Amen. God wants to show you his glory. Remind me of a time when Moses said, Amen, let me see your glory. Yeah. Oh my God. How many Bible readers in here today? Yeah. Said, uh, you can't see my face, but what I want you to do, Moses, is go get in the clap of the rock. Yeah. And I'm going to allow my glory to pass by you. Yeah. God is able to show you something. Amen. And if your heart is right. Yeah. Amen. And if you keep on staring at treasure on the inside. Somebody might say, well, brother preacher, what is the treasure you're talking about? I'm talking about the Holy Spirit yeah. that's been promised to us and to our children and our children's children. It's up to you, and if you don't have it, you're living beneath your privileges. Am I right about it? Sure right about it. That's what they say, ye shall have power after the Holy Ghost have come upon you. You can't live this life on your own accord, but you need that treasure on the inside. Amen. To keep you going when you feel like saying, I can't take no more. Amen. To keep you going when you say, I'm getting ready to throw in the towel. Amen. Some of y'all just throw in the towel, and Jesus took the towel and threw it back to you. He let you know that it ain't over until it's over. God got plans for you. Are you listening to me? That's why you're still here. Amen. Because you got that treasure down on the inside. 
It's good to empty yourself out so God can fill you up. Anybody want to be filled up today? So say, fill me up, Jesus, and let it overflow. I want God to fill me till it overflow. Amen. If you're around, you can catch the overflow. If you don't have what I have. Amen. But I don't know because I keep a salsa under my coffee. <laughs> That's good. Thank you, Jesus. God will make you feel good down on the inside. He will wash you and make you clean. That's what people need today. They need a good old gully washing. They need, I mean, a sanctified blood washing down on the inside, purging. Y'all know the song says, 51st song says, it says, purge me. With hit some, and I shall be clean. In order for God to fill you, first you gotta get cleaned up. Am I still in the house? You gotta get cleaned up first, and then God can fill you up. We need to be full today. We can We need to give God our whole hearts, and not just a part. You didn't give it to anybody else. Now you need to ask God to work on you. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you just have to, you have to have a one-on-one -on -one with God. Yeah. Amen. Ain't me. You don't make you selfish, but you just need a one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. Anybody ever need a one-on-one -on -one with God? Yeah. Amen. When you at home, when you in your bed, when you're in the shower, in the tub. When you're walking around the house, just praying, God, I need you. Amen, God, I need you. Stop calling on him. Stop telling him what your needs are. For the Bible says, I supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He will do it. Amen. Let's get back to what I was talking about originally. It says, in a home. It says, if this gospel be hid, amen, the gospel is hidden from some men because they have willfully closed their eyes to it. Amen. I changed to that one because it was having some static. The God of this world, anybody know who the God of this world is? Satan. Mm -hmm. Because he was thrown down from the third heaven as fast as lightning when he tried to take over. And then he deceived Eve in the garden. Amen. And she ate and so did her husband. Y'all remember that? Uh-huh. Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Adam. That's right. Not Eve and Eve. That's right. But it was Adam and Eve. Teach now. Can I get a witness here? You got a witness. Amen. I heard a little something this week. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I heard a little something, but, but we ain't going to talk about that right now. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But I'm all right. It, it says, the God of this world. Amen. Uh, if the heart of any man who hears the gospel is veiled, it is, de it is definite that defy definite. That he is lost and fully under the power of sin and Satan. Amen. Amen. Your heart is covered. Your ears is covered. You don't want to hear no about. You don't want to hear about Jesus. You don't want to hear this gospel. It's hidden from those that are lost. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. And that's all it is. Hallelujah. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The Christ in you, the hope of glory, the same treasure in this earthen vessel which is us you got to know who he is you have to have a personal relationship 
because he is your personal Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. You can't, amen, uh, you got too much experience now not to know who Jesus is. Amen. If you've been walking with him any length of time, as I said earlier, Amen. Uh, you, 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 you've seen too many miracles before. Amen. God has brought you out uh, too many situations for you not to know that God is who he say he is. We talk about this hidden treasure on the inside and who's trying to keep you, amen, from uh, knowing that you are Jesus Christ, treasure. Amen. Jesus is treasure in you. Amen. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. And ourselves, uh, your servants, for Jesus' sake. Uh, that's what we are called to do, is to spread the gospel. Amen. Well, God saved you. He don't save you to go back to sin. He don't save you to give up the good. Or give up the treasure. Yeah. It's too precious. Yeah. The treasure I'm talking about, money came by. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, somebody. It is precious, more precious than gold or silver. Amen. Amen. If a lot of us have a million dollars, it won't last too long. <laughs> because a fool and the money will soon be Okay. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> So, so we, we need something more than this, uh, gold and silver. Yes, yes, we do. For God, ain't nothing wrong with having it now. Amen. But the treasure is more valuable than tangible things. Mm -hmm. The sixth verse says, for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts. To give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's all about Jesus letting your light shine. Amen. The Bible says, let your light shine before man, that they may see your good works. And glorify the Father which is in heaven. No man lighted a light and put it on a bush. But you let it shine like on the mountaintop. But a lot of times we don't, sometimes we don't want folks to know we're saved. That's what it is because if you keep flying under the radar, that means that you can, you can slip in and slip out every now and then. Amen. It ain't nothing but a trick of the devil to, to keep you from fully committing to your walk. Yeah. I believe Ephesians 4 said, walk worthy of the vocation whereof you were called. Amen. So we got to walk worthy of that vocation yeah. that God has called you to. Yeah. For he has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Yeah. Anybody walking in the light? Anybody walking in the light? For it is a beautiful light that Jesus has caused us to walk into. But the Bible says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels. And, and over in the east it says, often in the east, treasures are hidden in earthen vessels to protect them from the damage. He refers to the power of the Holy Ghost through the light of the gospel in our bodies. We are, in other words, we should be living epistles to be read of man. If you live in a life, you don't have to go around with a sign on your back saying, I'm Holy Ghost filled, I'm sanctified, amen, I'm bought with a price. Amen. I belong to Jesus. Amen. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible says these signs shall follow them. Right. Amen. That believe. Amen. So if you're doing all the things God will have you to do, signs and wonders will follow you. Amen. That believe. Amen. And, and since you've been 
been saved, have you led anybody to Christ? Amen. Have anybody seen that treasure? I'm talking about a treasure uh, that's so bright that, that you, you can see the glow, the glory of God, the anointing of God on the person. That's how strong the anointing can come upon you. The Bible says that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Yeah. It's not about you trying to get the glory. Mm -hmm. But we were made for God's purpose. Yeah. Amen. We was made for his glory. Yeah. Yeah. And we were just discussing sometimes things happen to us. Yeah. It's not that God is trying to discourage us or break us down or, or, or turn us around. But it's for the glory of God. When you go through your trials and your tribulation, sometimes you're not just going through that for yourself, but you're going through so somebody can see the glory of God manifest in your life. Yeah, because if it wasn't for God doing it for you, amen, you would have been lost, crazy, outdoors, broke up, tore up from the floor a long time ago. You was on drugs, but he delivered you. Yeah. You was an alcoholic, but he set you free. Yeah. You was a home mother, but God fixed it. Yeah. Out somebody. Why do when we talk about sin, folks get quiet like it ain't supposed to be talked about in the church? <laughs> we, we, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't no, don't be scared to testify and give your real testimony. It ain't you came down from heaven over 2,000 years ago. You has been here since we've been here. Amen. <laughs> and we've been through some things. Uh -huh. we, we've been in the mark and the mire clay. Uh -huh. We've been in the dirt. Some of us got dirt on us. But thank God for Jesus. Amen. Thank Ooh. God for salvation. Yeah. Thank God for deliverance. Yes. Anybody thank you for deliverance? Yes. Amen. You was heavy. You was bound. Amen. You was out. Amen. Praise God. You, 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 you was reprobate mind. But God delivered you. Yes. And restored you. Yes. Amen. He brought you to yourself. Yes. Because a lot of us is like the prodigal son. As soon as I get 18, I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to do my own thing. Well. You go out in the world and get all messed up. We'll get towed up. And then when God brings us to ourselves, that's a good part. Uh-huh. We come back home. Yeah. And God will accept us. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. When we come back home. Thank you. Uh -huh. And then he'll restore us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he will renew us. Yes, he will. And put his spirit back down on the inside of yes, us. Yes, he will. But we got to confess and, and be honest with ourselves that we need help. And when we confess that and we repent, God will put you back in place again. Amen. I'm saying to all that, that may have backslid that God is married to the backslide. Amen. According to Jeremiah. Uh -huh. He'll put you back in place again. Amen. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with you shouting if you feel the spirit. Amen. Amen. If you got that treasure down on the inside, you don't wait till somebody else shout. That's if you feel a shout come on, you, you can't hold it. Amen. You, you can't control it. Amen. You can't be, uh, depress it. Amen. Suppress it. But you gotta let it go. Yes. Yeah. You've never seen church like it is today. You feel a shout come on, but you won't see if anybody else gonna shout. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let somebody else validate whether you feel like a shout coming on or not. Amen. If you feel like shout, just take out running. Just go and leave it and oh, it. Whatever happened to that church? Yeah. Uh, oh, Zion. Woo. What's the matter now? Uh, you don't shout like you used to shout. 
You don't praise like you used to praise. You don't worship like you used to worship. Oh, Zion. What's the matter now? <laughs> Woo, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. My God. Ain't nothing wrong with waving your hands. Ain't nothing wrong with standing up. You used to see folks throwing handkerchiefs in the church. Preach, preach up. You don't feel that no more. <laughs> I see your pocketbook with just a handkerchief. I got some more handkerchiefs. I ain't worried about that one. Hallelujah. Let me go on with my message. I'm, all, I'm getting ready to close. Ah. Uh, it says in this seventh verse, it refers to the Holy Ghost. The emphasis is on the contrast between a frail vessel in earth, which is us. We are frail. Amen. And not only frail, sometimes we thin skin. Somebody don't speak to you. Would that take your? Would that mess your treasure up? <laughs> is, that, is that enough to mess your treasure up? Cause somebody don't speak to you. Mm -mm. <laughs> My God, it comes a time you gotta get beyond, as we said in Sunday school, beyond the petty things, uh -huh. the, the things that's tripping the church up. People lies are at stake. And we 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 carried away with all these little uh, material things. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Got a shout down on the inside. Just shout. We we the type of ministry. If somebody just woo and run around the church now, I would say just keep on preaching. Because I know you got some kind of breakthrough. God has touched something down on the inside. Amen. Amen. We are frail vessels, amen, in this earth. But the priceless treasure of power dwell within us. Yeah. God's treasure he has placed in us. A verse. I guess they have in church upstairs. Amen, children. Amen. Amen. I can, I can hear. Amen. A first says we are trouble on every side, yet not distress. Come on now. See, see, we are trouble. See, we are in the world, but not of the world. Yeah. Some still bothers us as being humans. We're flesh. Amen. 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 The Bible says we are troubled on every side, but yet not distressed. Mm -hmm. Somebody say, what is distress? Great pain mm -hmm. or sorrow. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have the treasure yeah. down on the inside yeah. uh -huh. that keeps us going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When people looking at you thinking that you should crack up and fall apart, mm -hmm. you still shout. You still thank you, Jesus. You still hallelujah. Yeah. You still say, I can do all things. Yeah. You still say, to God be the glory. Yeah. You're still raising your hand. You're still shouting for joy. You're still telling somebody, let me tell you how good God is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Even though you're going through a little something. Amen. Huh? Yeah. We all have some little problems every now and then. Yeah. Now and again. Am I right about it? You sure yeah. right about it. You find yourself crying at night. Come on now. Every now and then. Amen, yeah. somebody. Amen. Yeah. It don't exempt you from going through. Because the Bible says in this life. You're going to have trials and tribulations. Man. Sometimes you wonder, Lord, why me? Am I talking to anybody? Man. 
But I want to answer that. Why not you? Uh huh. Because <laughs> God want to get the glory. He told Martha, do you believe I'm the resurrection? She said, yeah, I believe in the resurrection. He said, I am the resurrection. Man. If you can just believe, you will see the glory of God. Yes. I'm saying to you today, Cornerstone, if you just can believe, I don't care what you're going through, how long you've been going through it, if you just can believe, you can see the glory of God. Manifest in your life. Yeah. Amen. Man. By the saying, we depressed, distressed, we are perplexed. You say, Brother Preacher, what is perplexed? See, we just read the Bible, read words, and bump it over and keep on going. And we ain't found out what these words mean. It says that we are perplexed. And being perplexed, it, it means it's difficult to understand or you confused. Uh-huh. Teach now. Am I right? You sure right about it. It's difficult to understand some things and you confused. Mm -hmm. The devil make you confused about you, you're doing the best you can. You're living the best like you can. You can fast and you're praying. You read the word. You're obedient, amen, to leadership. The Bible says obey those that have rule over you. They're responsible for your soul. You do it all of that. You, you you have a willing spirit. Amen. You willing and you obedient, but yet things is happening to you and you get confused. It shouldn't be happening to me. I pay my tithes. Teach now. I give an offering. Amen, somebody. Amen. I I I walk the prayer line. Amen. I call sister so-and-so twice a week. And stuff still happen to you. You get confused. Look like when you're at your last. It look like, God, you let me get all the way down to my last. Yeah, yeah, I need your meal barrel may get a little low. But I heard the prophet say, fix me a whole cake first. All right, now, teach now. Y'all know that Bible? Yeah. Fix me up. Just a little whole cake first. Then make some for you and your son. Amen? We got to come up in our faith like that. Amen. That whatever God is saying through the man and the woman of God, do it. Uh-huh. Jesus said, uh, Mary said to, to the disciples, whatever he say, do. At the wedding in Canaan. Uh-huh. Say, do. Teach now. Amen. Amen. You get a little uh, confused and difficult, understand some things. Some, let me drop some on you. Somebody say, drop it. Drop, drop it. it. Drop it. Down <laughs> it. <laughs> some things you're not going to understand right now. Uh-huh. That's it. Do you know if God laid everything out and told you everything that you're going to go through by being a child of God and his disciple and uh, born again, a servant of Jesus Christ, and you, he laid it all out before you, every day you will be thinking about it even before it came. Uh -huh. You will mess yourself up. The battlefield starts in the mind. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen. That's the battlefield. That's why God tells us, give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're perplexed, but not in despair. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Despair is nothing more than a loss of hope. Uh-huh. It's just a lot of folks that, that, that lost hope. Mm. Because you've been going through what you've been going through a long time. Mm -hmm. But I'm reminded, thank you, Lord, of the man that was uh, going through for 80, uh, for 38 years. Uh huh. That's a long time. Yeah. But Jesus showed up. Mm -hmm. And our little something that we're going through is not compared. You can't compare that with some other things that people have been through. In other words, it's somebody that's worse off than you. Uh-huh. 
Mm -hmm. Dreadful feeling. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. A dreadful feeling that nothing good can happen. Mm -hmm. You often hear the expression, if I didn't have no, no bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's terrible. How do you accept that about luck in the first place? Amen. Huh? Serving God ain't based on no luck. That's right. Teach now. Amen. No. The devil is alive. Amen. Well, you don't need that kind. No way. You don't need anything that the devil has. Ah, feeling like nothing good can happen. Because everybody that you have a relationship has has done you wrong. So now the devil will make you think that everybody is the same. Everybody is the same. And the devil is a lie. Everybody's not the same. But every preacher I know, all they want is your money. I didn't ask nobody for a dollar. Amen. Amen. You'll never come in here and see no $100 lines, $50 lines. I take my own car in. I take it to the car wash. I used to wash it myself. <laughs> So, my God, every preacher's not the same. Amen. That's right. We are different. That's right. Give them on a hand, praise. Amen. We all are different. Because many was called. But a few was chosen. Amen. And every house that's open is, is not of God. That's right. Amen. Matter of fact, the spirit of Ichabod is over some church buildings today. Uh huh. Because the spirit of God has departed. Uh huh. Now those churches you're not gonna feel nothing. Now you right if you go on them and say I didn't feel nothing. Amen. <laughs> because it becomes like a graveyard. Uh huh. And the living ain't got no business among the dead. Amen. Why do you seek the living among the dead? Uh huh. Jesus is risen. Now he has placed that treasure in us. We persecute. Amen. Well, the preacher, what is persecuted? What is per to be persecuted? Well, let me tell you. Is to treat badly. Anybody ever been treated badly? Folks just hate you without a call. Uh -huh. They kick you out of everybody just to just to pounce on you. Trying to grow your grass. They may throw some on it to kill it. I'm <laughs> listening to it. I mean, it says to to harm, to do harm again and again. Mm -hmm. Keep on happening again and again. Yeah. Persecute you. Yeah. Hate you without a cause. The Bible says it's going to happen in, in Matthew, the Beatitudes. It's an answer for everything that we're going through. But God wants us to fill, our, fill us up. Amen. Amen. And give us an overflow. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Mm. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. My cup runneth over. Runneth over. <laughs> Thank you. That's where we want to be. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Yeah. Thou art thou stand that comfort me. That prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. God said, 
You don't have to worry about being alone. Because I got somebody called goodness and mercy. Uh huh. See, see, that's what you got to realize when you think you're all by yourself. Uh -huh. When you feel like you can't call on folks that you used to call on, they, they see your name in a call ID and they shut it down. Uh. Well, You can't reach them no more. Uh -huh. You think they ain't at home, but they just didn't answer your call. Uh -huh. Are you listening to me? Uh -huh. You can't depend on them no more. Forget about them. Bible well, say, goodness and mercy shall follow me always. Mm. Even to the end of the world. Amen. So, so saints of God, you're going to have to grab hold of what you know. You got to know that you know that you know nowadays. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Jesus is is, is 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 true to His word. Everything He's promised us, promised us. Amen. It's sure. It's supported by His word. The Bible says we're treated badly <laughs> uh, when we persecute it uh, and, and and harm. It, we they do harm to us over and over again. We wonder why sometimes. Sometimes we try to make friends with folk and they just don't want to be friends with you. You bake them a cake. You take them out to dinner. You try to show them a good time. You buy them a pair of shoes or a blouse. That still don't do it. If somebody just don't like you, they just don't like you. Don't you know fake folks will hate you without a cause? They don't need no cause to hate you in this world Amen. today. Uh -huh. Amen. One of my co-workers, he's driving his bus and he's looking over in somebody's car because he see a whole bunch of trash and folks eat, throwing stuff out the window. So when he got to the light, the person got out of his car and started babbing on the bus. In other words, he wondered, what did he do? Well, you looking in somebody's car, staring at them. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to say nothing to nobody. Just look at them wrong. Look at what they doing. That's enough for somebody to take their gun out and shoot you. So we got to be wise. He said, what did I do? I said, you looked all in their car and kept staring at them. St staring at them. Y'all know I'm country. Staring at them. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm going to close. It says, uh, we had the ninth verse. Mm -hmm. We persecuted. We read there, but not forsaken. Mm -hmm. uh, God said, you're going to be persecuted, but God won't forsake you. Mm -hmm. You'll be cast down, but not destroyed. Mm -hmm. So people, amen, they're going to they gonna persecute you. Amen. But God has got your back. He's going to bag you up and cast down, but not destroyed. And being destroyed is to break to pieces. It's somebody trying to break you down all the time. They just don't like how you progressing in life. It's some folks don't are not happy for your, uh, uh, your progress and your success. And you being blessed. Amen. Heard somebody say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Yes. When we say that, we ought to say that with confidence because it's true. I'm too blessed to be stressed. And you don't say that just because it's Sunday, and then Monday you just wrecked. <laughs> I'll, be the, I'll be the glue coming apart in any of you. Amen. You got to say it for real and mean it for real and stand on it in Jesus' name. Yeah. That's why you need word on the inside of you. You need that treasure on the inside of you when the storms come. Amen. When the rains fall and when the wind blow and when the waves come, you need something down on the inside. 
that's going to be an anchor to hold you through the storm of life. As sure as we live, it's not if, but it's when the storm of life comes. Am I right about it? I'm so right about it. Bible say we are not destroyed to break in pieces. So you got to make the best of this life. Even when Apostle Paul was on that ship, y'all remember that story? When they were sailing to that island, they was on their way to Rome and a ship broke up. Paul said, stay with the ship. Everybody going to be saved. Amen. And, 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 and there was broken pieces. And they grabbed hold to the pieces. So even though your life may sometimes be in pieces, grab hold of the peace. Amen. That you still have. Because God can take a little and do a whole lot with it. Amen. Even a peace that you're holding on to. God can breathe on it. He can pray over it. Amen. And enlarge it. Y'all remember the boy that had the two fish and five barley loads? When Jesus prayed over that lunch, it turned out to be a banquet for 5,000 people. A little bit becomes much when you place it in the master's hand. It said to be destroyed is to make useless or ruin. People try to ruin your life. Amen. Let me drop this on you too. Some folk, you just have to cut a loose. Uh huh. Hmm? That's right. Am I still, I'm still in the house. You in the house? You have to cut some folks loose. Because they ain't knowing where you're going. They was all right when you was kicking it, amen, and all of that. But now you ain't doing that. Make it plain. You need to cut some folks loose. Because if you don't, they are going to entangle you. And they're going to cause you to stumble. Uh-huh. That's right. Whatever you serve the most, whatever you feed the most, your spirit or your flesh is going to be stronger. Right. If you with people, the stronger of you is going to draw the other. Uh huh. That's right. So we have to be strong saints. Oh, don't forget those five points distress, perplex, despair, persecuted. And destroy it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Those things don't come at you whether you have that treasure in you or not. Mm -hmm. But the thing about it, when you have the treasure that's down on the inside, it helps you to deal with those things that's on the outside. Yes. Yeah. Because greater is he that's within you yes. than he yes. that's in the world. Amen. Give the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elder England. <laughs> Amen. I feel good today, church. Amen. I feel blessed. Amen. You got to see yourself blessed. You got to see yourself coming out. Amen. You may be in something right now, but just say, look, it's not going to be this way always. Amen. Amen. You got to speak to yourself sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with talking to yourself sometimes. Amen. Come on, you do it anyway. Don't act like you don't. <laughs> Amen. Talk to yourself every now and then. Say, I'm going to make it. Amen. I'm going to overcome. Yes. I'm going to receive my breakthrough. Yes. I'm going to be blessed.
they keep on pushing you. I got something down on the inside of me that's telling me to go ahead. You got something down on the inside of you telling you to go ahead. Go ahead now. Amen. Somebody say, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Ooh, I wish I had some shout music right there. <laughs> because it's something down on the inside. It ain't about what you got on. Amen. Not about the finery of the clothes and the jewelry. But as long as you got that treasure down on the inside. Amen. Woo! The world can't do you no harm. Because you got a peace. Let me drop this on you. Come on. That's a path of all understanding. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. When, when they think you, you, you was going down for the last time, here you come walking again. Smiling again. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Amen. You just full of joy. Amen. You full of light. Amen. Praise God. Your light is shining. Amen. Praise God. Folks want to be around you. And then let me say this. When you cry, you cry alone. But when you laugh, the world laughs with you. Amen. 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 It ain't nobody following your own if you walk around with your head down. Not when you claim to be filled with this treasure. Amen. Because when you feel with the treasure, you always have a little something, something. Amen. Amen. All right now. Always. 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 Always have a little something. Yeah. I ain't gonna pull out that money, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Always have a little something, amen, in your pocket, in your purse, in your bosom. They used to put it in their bosom, but I don't know. But wherever it's at, you still got you got it, amen. Come on now, amen, <laughs> amen. So I'm, I'm gonna cut off now, amen. <laughs> <laughs> I done closed. This is my second close. Maybe, uh, okay, I'm going to close now. <laughs> so we thank God Amen. that the joy has to be restored in the church. Amen. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. strength. And if you have joy, you can overcome a whole lot of that stuff that you think, amen, that, that has you bound. That's in your way. You can step right over it. Amen. 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 And the thing about it is to live the life every day. Amen. Let your light shine. Not just when you come, go to your various church home. But every day. Amen. Let your light shine. And, and, and I'm going I'm, I'm to close for real this time. Take your time. When the enemy <laughs> comes in. Like a, like a flood. The Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. And then sometimes, if he can't get to you, he's going to get to the one that's closer uh -huh. to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's who we're going to work on. Uh -huh. When you have your armor on, he's going to look for somebody that don't have their armor on. Uh -huh. Then he's going to start working on them. Uh -huh. You're teaching now. I'm teaching good now. Amen. Uh huh. Give the Lord a hand praise. I'm, 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 I'm shutting the book. Amen.